Okay, it's six twenty-three sixteen. I think I am at the epoch with this. This is the best I can do with it. There's a five watt neon. Dug that up. High volt, high frequent, high frequency diodes. I got two of them. They're good up to a hundred nanosecond. Okay, well that took care of that problem. I can measure it now. This spark gap here in the back is about useless right now. It has some adjustments, but it uh, really is about useless. I'm running this the camera with no ground again. The only grounds I have are right here, these three. The other ground is the ground going to the PWM. Other than that, there is no grounds on this. These don't help. They're not helping one bit. I don't even know why I got them on there. May have been a quarter of a voltage extra. It won't run on a 9 volt battery no more. I'm up to uh, close to 10 volts. Or uh, 10 watts I'm shoving into this system. But uh, that tunes the output I'll fire it up if I get the stupid wires out of the way I don't shut off so that's uh, that's not 5 watts that's, that might be a couple watts it's a neon but anyway I'm at uh, I'm here useless 93 94 volts across the output It'll go up to 600 plus. But uh, yeah, with a load, yeah, it's at 93 volts. 10 watts, 0.1 amp. It gets uh, around 8.5, it won't run on a 9 volt battery. So yeah, there's no ground on this. None. And it apparently, it's pulling enough ground out of itself. I'm guessing it's the toroid pulling it out of uh, to run itself and yeah the uh, 93 it'll hit 95 if I turn down that I guess I tuned it's like right there I guess I'm amazed it's even pulling two watts but I can't tune it no more I don't know where to start unless I take out some of those, which I don't know if it's going to help. Maybe reduce that. I don't know if that's going to help. And yeah, that thing's working its butt off there. So... I'm at a standstill. I don't know what to think.